Like ho, like. Welcome to the channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that like button. It's feed the soul, free the soul. Welcome to your spiritual wisdom. Let's get into it. <clears throat> like usually, people like to go on about their ego. It's bad, it's good, it's that, it's this. But what is the ego? You know what I'm saying? Like the ego, to me, it's just a part of us that we have to accept, appreciate, and then learn from it. So our ego likes to bring us into situations that we might have to learn from or situations that will bring us further into the light. But we can't always knock our ego. You kill your ego, then you're killing the part of yourself. You know what I'm saying? You got to accept it. To face it, no way your ego's filtering out from your, within yourself. You're conscious. That's what. That's all it is. Your consciousness is telling your ego something, and your ego is taking it one way and wants wants you to go and maybe you're hungry. Let's say you're hungry. So your conscious is telling you, "Yeah, I'm hungry. I feel like I could eat," but it's what you want to eat is what your ego is telling you, oh, let's go get, let's go get a burger with some bacon, nice and greasy, mm, be so good, but really, our body needs nutrition, healthy, you gotta eat healthy, you know what I mean, your other example of your ego getting in the way is sitting there with your friends, and your friends got something that you don't got, and now you don't want to be as close to that friend because you don't have what they have because your ego is getting in the way of you supporting somebody that you actually appreciate. And <clears throat> another way of your ego, I find, it likes to eh, little eh, like a little little bug, little mosquito, little. It's always annoying. It's it's when you get bored. Your ego gets in the way when you get bored. A lot of it so another way really is just to stay stay focused on your goal keep keeping the light and deface your ego know what what it's telling you decode it and appreciate it don't ever just go kill off your ego then you're just gonna have there's gonna be plain gonna be basic gonna have no you know what I mean? You're going to have, like, no personality, no sense of humor. That's your ego. That's, you know what I mean? That's, you need that to basically fit in with other, other demographics in the society, with other people. You know what I mean? You need your ego to have a, <clears throat> a decent conversation. But it's your intellect, your intuition, and your conscience that actually soaks in that information of your conversation that you're having it's not your ego your ego is gonna be like yep mm-hmm mm-hmm and then keep doing the same shit that you're doing that's your ego so just look in within yourself and see what your ego is telling you or see what your ego is pulling you from and just learn from it once you learn what your ego is telling you separates your wants and your needs and everything will kind of almost start to fall into place. And then that also brings in to tie it into self-motivation. You gotta stay self-positive, you know what I mean? You gotta stay self-motivated within life. All this bad shit going around, just, you know what I mean? All this racial tension, all this fucking COVID shit, like you gotta know what you want and stay within yourself. Don't worry about what other people's doing. Worry about what you're doing. I mean, worry how you feel. And then you can worry about how other people feel to help them. You gotta be self-motivated in the way where you wake up in the morning. Yes, today's gonna be great. I'm gonna get this done. I'm gonna be productive. I'm gonna do this. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Another way to be self-motivated is try not to feel down. Like, I know a lot of people in this world have depression. You know what I mean? I, I have that. So I have to stay self-motivated on a daily so I don't feel down. 
You know what I mean? Another way to do that is just meditate, raise your vibration, and look with inside yourself is what's bugging you. What's, what's blocking you spiritually? What's blocking you mentally? What's blocking you physically? What's blocking you emotionally T to connect with other people? You just gotta stay positive with anything. With anything you do in your life, stay positive. Stay positive, 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 and motivated. When you got somebody tell you, oh, you can't do this, self-motivate yourself and show them how great you can do it. You know what I mean? And then, Another little thing I want to get into is just coming into the next chapter of your lives. So for me, I'm I'm deep diving head first right now into my spiritual journey. And most likely you guys are just starting or deep diving right into it too. But that's, that's the next chapter of my journey. Like I used to be in, in a low vibration, doing bad shit, you know what I mean? Not giving a fuck about other people, not giving a fuck about myself, which is fucking, that, that was stupid. You need to care about yourself before you can care about others. You need to love yourself, be able to love yourself before you can love others. You know what I mean? So walking into your next chapter of your life, always just have that positive influence. Just going forward on shit. And just keep a, a straight path and go. Don't, don't let nobody pull you back. Don't let nobody pull you to the right, pull you to the left. Just keep straight. Just go. Just go with the flow. Be in the now. And everything will just come naturally. And then work on yourself as you're in your chapter. You'll find new things to work on. You'll find new things to subtract from your life. All that negativity, you need to just fly it away. You know what I mean? Just see you bye. And focus on the positive. <clears throat> The more positive reinforcement you have in your life, the more posit positive outcomes will happen. So just stay on that path that you're on with your next chapter of your life. Stay blessed. Find the ways, find the tools that you can, that you can work with that'll help you find your ego and know what it needs, that find your ego and know what it wants and needs. You know what I mean? Find out the difference between what 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 your self-conscious, your conscious is telling you, compared to what your ego wants you to do. You know what I mean? Stay self-motivated. Let nobody discourage you. Always stay you. That's the truth. That's the truth. Just stay you. You are you. Your your spirit. Your your self-conscious. Your your vessel is just a filter and your portrayal of your real you. So get connected to the real you. And I wish everybody the best on the next part of your journey, the next chapter of your life. Say, say bye to the old you and welcome in the new you. You know what it is. It's feed the soul. Feed the soul. Thanks for coming into the channel. First video. I hope you guys like it. going to have some more for you. And, um, yeah, hit that subscribe button, that bell button too. Hit that like. And let's get it. Eyes closed, legs crossed, three fingers on palm. They connect, watch my thoughts disconnect, watch my breath, sense the rest while you stress. Make good, good, ain't doing it for you that wet wedding.